Hello everyone and welcome back to a GT scale modelling video. Today's video is going to be a relatively quick um, show of the model that I've just recently finished. So what you can see there is the Hobby Boss 135 Land Rover, the Wimic, the Weapons Mounted Installation Kit. And the crew figures are the master box set, I think they're just called Modern British Infantry or something, but they are a set of figures designed to go with this kit. Uh, there is five in the box, so I used one on another diorama, uh, hence the, the four that are there. So I had purchased this kit with the intention of it going onto my previous Afghanistan diorama, the one with the uh, the building and the figures but the diorama base I ended up kind of making a bit smaller I felt with the building the figures and this all in the scene it would be a little too cluttered it may not have been but that's what I felt so I boxed this kit having kind of built most of it boxed it and focused on the other diorama of which there is a, a video up if you don't know what I'm talking about it's one of my other I say more recent as in just at least before this uh, the kit went together really quite nicely. Uh, I built it a wee while ago now. Uh, I don't recall any major fit issues. Uh, it is nicely detailed. Um, it looks like a Land Rover. Um, I kind of know what Land Rovers look like. We've got enough of them in our family. Uh, it looks like a Land Rover Defender. And, and therefore that's kind of good enough for me. However, I am aware that it is a depiction of a kind of earlier model. Um, Wimic. The wheels and some other details point to that. The later Wimics which were based on the Wolf, although the kit calls it a Wolf, however this is not a Wolf Defender. Um, the wheels are wrong The and numerous other details are, are incorrect for an actual Wolf Defender. Uh, that was a later version. And quite often these were then up armoured with um, some armour plating sections across the open back here, some sort of semi-armoured ballistic doors and, and such like. And this kit comes with none of those details. I believe that uh, up to date, Wolf style wheels and these other um, additions are available as resin aftermarket sets. However, I was not, uh, I was, for this build I wasn't interested in that. So I am aware that there are some discrepancies in accuracy between what the kit depicts and kind of how I've depicted it. Um, these versions of Wimix were possibly quite out of use by the time that, um, you know, NTP was in common usage and that's how I've painted up the figures because that's how they're molded. They're molded with, um, you know, Osprey style body armor and things, which was more prevalent in the, you know, alongside the use of um, NTP rather than with the original Desert DPM. The other thing is the uh, SA80s that came in the in the kit that which are supposed to kind of go on the little rack uh, by this cross piece here. They are um, L85, L85, yes, L85A1s I believe. Uh, they have the old style round cocking handle um, and the, the plastic furniture by the time NTP said was in use then for the most part those weapons had been replaced um, certainly they were the A2 the A1 was well out of use well well out of use by this point and uh, the the rifles have been fitted with um, Picatinny rail front ends um, and different sights this is these have got SUSATs on them still they were using plastic emags and, and things instead so there's again another inaccuracy there however that's what was in the kit and it, it just it gives a little bit of detail um, with a couple of personal weapons there so I'm aware of the little mismatch I said it's what was in the kit and I kind of just built it as was the base is just a quick put together it's just some polystyrene with some daz clay on the top and and various bits of gravel and some 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 little grass tufts just to give a, a vaguely a very simple but uh, base just to display it on. Um, it allows me to add this other figure and um, it gives a slight kind of scene. Um, 
if you want the drivers to stick it into the back, the guy's got a GPMG, you know, for all for all we know, he could be telling the guy, yeah, you can grab some grab some GPM GPMG ammo from the back. I'll uh, zoom you in a little bit further, and hopefully you can see. So in the back here, there's a bunch of ammo cans and uh, a couple. There's a bedroll and a, a little kind of rucksack thing. There's a there's actually a seat in the back of here, and there's a cooler. Um, you know, there are kind of small details I added. I said on the top of the uh, weapons mount here, there's one of the crew's personal weapons, a uh, little water bottle. There's another personal weapon in the cab here. There's actually another water bottle in the dashboard as well. I thought it was just nice little kind of touches. Uh, I said, the crew painted up an MTP. Uh, I have a tutorial on YouTube that I did before on, on how to paint MTP, certainly the way I do it. Um, and certainly I think at this scale, it, um, it gives a convincing enough effect at this scale that you can tell that that's what it is. Uh, vehicle was painted in Tamiya paints, I think if I recall correctly. Tamiya paints, uh, it was originally painted in a kind of a British Army green with a sander with a chip top and um, and uh, chipped back in various places to suggest some quite heavy use. Um, and obviously then that's all toned down with quite a lot of dust pigments and things. Um, I believe uh, things getting incredibly dusty in Afghanistan was a pretty common thing. So that's all I kind of wanted to say about that just now. Um, I've got a lot of stills, so I'll pop them up after you've got a, a better look around it. But I just wanted to give you a show through it, have a quick explain, a quick chat to you guys. It's been a while. I think it's been over a year since my last upload. Um, I moved house in that time and had to set up a new man cave. However, the advantage is, unlike my last house, I actually have an indoor man cave, hence me being able to actually complete a model. Um, yeah. Brand new desk, I made myself a custom desk, and yeah, it's a good good space to be in, and it's hopefully going to allow productivity to, to increase, even if video productivity doesn't increase, there'll at least be some, hopefully some modelling content, and uh, at least I have subject matter to upload, which I didn't previously. Uh, I actually finished two kits on the same day, they finished this, this finished this the other day, so I will probably do another video um, similar to this, just a quick explain and a, a reveal of, of that as well. Um, so thank you for watching and uh, if you don't already please consider giving me a follow over on Instagram. It's uh, GT Scale Modeling as well. Um, I have a Facebook page as well. I'm going to try and start putting things on there. I'm actually doing some more modeling. Um, start putting so if you, you want you can uh, follow along with work in progress shots and things if that's your, that's your thing on Instagram. Um, that'd be really good. Thank you very much and Enjoy the pictures and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.